In today's video, we're going to be talking about cutting a branch off a tree. And before anybody says anything, especially one of my friends, I have my hat on because it's cold. So, we're going to cut a branch off a tree the correct way. Okay, this is the branch in question. You can see that somebody here has cut one off, not as it should be cut off. So what I'm going to do first of all is just get rid of that branch um, that's on here because it's, it's actually in my way and it's actually rotten. The branch is actually rotten. Um, so we're going to cut a branch off a tree. So what we need to do is I'm just going to explain that it's the same with a if you're using a chainsaw on something this size or using a little saw on something that's this size. If you were to use a chainsaw, um, it would be exactly the same principle, um, but you would you you would do it maybe I don't know three four foot away from the tree. What you don't want is the bark of the tree exposed. Uh, if I got my saw and cut through this branch now, uh, the weight of the branch would rip all the bark away. And that's, that's not what you want. So, the correct way of doing it is to get your saw and maybe, I don't know, six inches away from the actual stem itself, cut underneath your branch like so and then from the top head towards that uh, cut that you've made like so then the weight of the branch is gone it's not going to bend down and rip all this bark away and then not like this one then you go as close as you can to the tree and do exactly the same uh, principle from the bottom and then from the top going down towards that cut that you've made and then it doesn't rip all this bark away what you can do then I mean you can get in closer than that but I've got quite a few branches in my way but um, what you can do then on this this wood here you can actually get some stuff that's like candle wax which you can put on here which uh, seals this and stops it weeping uh, but what I do is I put a bit of gloss paint on it and it does job uh, just as well but it's as simple as that to stop all this ripping just cut underneath it first and if you're doing something the size of this with a chainsaw you want to start at least two three foot away from the actual main stem of the tree uh, because you'd be amazed how much these branches actually do weigh um, uh, obviously if you're using a chainsaw you start at the, the very end of it and work it down in steps um, but that's how to stop it splitting 